What's going on you guys and welcome back to the ARA show. So in the last video that I did, I made a new challenge where I'm trying to get my account from $0 to $100,000. And right now we're sitting pretty at almost $7,000. So we're doing pretty well. In that video, we also went through every single one of the holdings that I have in this portfolio. And one of them was this one right here, Doge or Dogecoin. And a lot of you guys have been asking, yo, why do you own this meme coin or this weird coin that I've never heard about and all of that, right? So in this video, I'm going to kind of go through why I own Dogecoin, if I believe in it or if I don't believe in it and everything that has to do with why you should or you shouldn't invest in Dogecoin. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So before we get into the good stuff, let me just show you guys how much I own in Dogecoin. So right now my equity is sitting at almost $35 with a cost basis of $25.76, which means that I'm up 33%, which is honestly really good. Honestly, at one point I was up even more than 100%, but it kind of fell off in the past. Honestly, just over the weekend, it really fell off. So it did hit a penny and it sustained it for about a week. And then it kind of just dropped off recently over the weekend. With that being said, it's only about half a percent of my overall portfolio and we'll kind of get into why and if I'm going to invest more or not later on in the video. But for now, just wanted to show you guys how much I own in Dogecoin. All right, so I don't want to bore you guys with the history lesson or anything like that, but there are a few significant lessons that you can pop up with the Dogecoin and how it started off. So the first thing that's important to know is Doge is basically a meme that was created into a coin. So it's this dog right here, if you guys don't know, and this is called the Doge. That's basically a meme. You can always Google more about it on this website right here, Know Your Meme. So with that being said, these two guys, Jackson Palmer and Billy Marcus, decided to make a cryptocurrency kind of just mocking cryptos, but kind of making a fun thing in general. But with that being said, they kind of made this coin called the Dogecoin and it became a meme coin. And it was kind of funny because they got a lot of retail investors to kind of be like, oh, yo, that's kind of funny. Let's make it let's make it like expensive and just start buying it and see what happens. Right. So that's exactly what happened with Dogecoin. And just another way to kind of show off its popularity, Elon Musk put in his bio that he was a former CEO of Dogecoin. I don't think that's true at all. He's probably just trolling us. And that's one of the reasons why I love Elon. Just got to put that in there. But yeah, definitely gets a lot of clout. Dogecoin, that is. So besides Dogecoin being very popular because of the meme culture and the society that we live with, because let's be honest, who doesn't love a good meme? There's also another reason why Dogecoin is really popular, and that's because of its price point. So right now, it's not even worth one penny, which is kind of insane. And so like, for example, I bought $25, but if it ever did hit $1, I would be getting back $5,196, which is just insane. And you can see over the past five years, it's grown more than 3,000%, which is just insane. But to be honest, you could have easily got Dogecoin in the past year at like a fraction of a penny, like half a penny, a quarter of a penny, a third of a penny, which is just insane. But that's another reason why Dogecoin is really popular because people can put in five, ten dollars and just let it grow and watch it. But other than this meme culture, it's low price point. There is one other point and we'll get right into that. All right. So the next reason is popularity. And this is honestly why I decided to invest into Dogecoin myself. But long story short, there was this dude on TikTok that basically posted this one video. It's about 10 seconds and I don't know if I can play it or not. So I'll leave a link in my description, but it's basically a new trend that's called hashtag Dogecoin TikTok challenge, where basically he said that if ev there's 800 million TikTok users and if everyone invested $25 and this coin went to $1, everyone would become rich, right? And technically he's not wrong, but there are a few caveats to that. And I'll kind of go into that later on. But anyways, long story short, the price did increase like crazy because of this TikTok and everyone was buying $25. So I decided to put $25, just kind of watch it grow to see what happened. But it did later on go down, but we'll kind of get into that later on. So let's take a look at the one year chart. So that guy made that TikTok right around here and you can see he basically got it from a fifth of a penny all the way to half a penny. So a quick shout out to that guy. He basically doubled my money for me because I actually sold it right around here when I hit 100% of my money. So then you can see it kind of just gradually fell off because, you know, it is a meme and because it did get pumped. So it is kind of like a pump and dump. But then once again, it kind of jumped up like crazy ever since Bitcoin hit 20,000. So it does really kind of correlate as well as long with Bitcoin. So that's one thing to know about Dogecoin if you're thinking about investing into it. Usually, however, Dogecoin does or sorry, however, Bitcoin does. Dogecoin tends to follow it somewhat to a certain extent. So I did hop on back here and my new strategy is I put in $25 and I'm just going to kind of let it grow. And if it ever does reach $1, that'd be awesome, right? 
but there are a few reasons why I don't believe that it will happen. But, you know, I decided just to put it in to see if it does happen or not. But I'll kind of go into the reason now why I don't believe that it will go up. So let's get into the reason why I believe it's going to be hard for Dogecoin to hit a dollar or anything higher than that. So unlike Bitcoin, Dogecoin is actually different. And the reason why is Bitcoin is a deflationary type of asset, which means that there's a limited supply to how much Bitcoin is actually out there which that number I believe is 21 million and right now it's at 18.5 million. So there is a limited supply which will basically make the price of Bitcoin keep going up and up and up. But unlike that, Dogecoin has an unlimited supply and if you take a look at this article, it says that basically once every minute 10,000 Dogecoin are basically being made, which is just insane. That number just makes it so hard for Dogecoin's value to go up. So if you think about it this way, printed money unlimitedly basically makes the value of money go low. So it's kind of like that with Dogecoin as well. But the reason why I actually believe there is a small chance is just because, you know, with Bitcoin running up in price, it might help Dogecoin run up as well. But let's be honest, Dogecoin is being printed or not printed. It's being manufactured or mined or whatever you want to call it so fast and at this rate that there's basically at this point an unlimited supply. So kind of just to recap really quickly, Dogecoin does have the potential to hit one dollar. Um, if you think about it, it could rise with Bitcoin. Bitcoin used to be a meme as well, so who knows? Dogecoin definitely does have the possibility. It's just kind of hard to say with its unlimited supply, but I would definitely put in whatever money that you don't care about. Just don't put in all your money. The last thing I'd want to see is for you guys to buy up here and then see that it's going nowhere and end up selling and losing all your money if you sold it here. Dogecoin has had its history of pump and dumps throughout the years. You can see there's one right here. There's another one here. There's one that happened in July and there's one that's happening right now. So just trade with caution and don't believe into all the things you guys see on TikTok. But if you guys definitely have some money, just put it in and who knows, maybe it will go to the moon or maybe it will become worthless. Definitely worth putting in some money that you don't care about losing. And that's exactly my strategy going forward. This is my Coinbase Pro portfolio where I hold all my cryptocurrencies beside Dogecoin. And you guys can see that I'm pretty heavy on Bitcoin right here. I also like Ethereum. These are the two main ones that I really like. Other than that, Dogecoin is just one that I kind of have on the side. And you guys know that Dogecoin is only 0.5% of my portfolio on Robinhood. But to be honest, my all overall portfolio is probably less than 0.1%. So... I just kind of want to reiterate that don't go all in on Dogecoin. And if you do decide to do that, just to be kind of cautious and know that there are some things that might happen with Dogecoin. You never know. But with that, guys, comment if you guys are keeping Dogecoin or you guys are not investing to Dogecoin. And I appreciate you guys for listening. And guys, take it easy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Or guys, remember, everybody eats.